Maximos v. Hakim Arabic, Maxims Alkams Kim May 18, 1908, in Tanta, Egypt, June 29, 2001, Beirut, Lebanon was elected Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, and Alexandria and Jerusalem of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church in 1967 and served until 2000. He guided the Church through turbulent changes in the Middle East and rapid expansion in the Western Hemisphere. Life. He was born George Selim Hakim at Tanta, Egypt, May 18, 1908, to parents who were originally from Aleppo. He was educated locally and at Le Collège de la Sainte Famille High School of the Holy Family Jesuit School in Cairo. After completing his studies at Saint Anne of Jerusalem, he was ordained a priest in the Basilica of Saint Anne by Maximos I. V. Sayig, then Archbishop of Tyre, on July 20, 1930. As a young priest he taught for a year in the Patriarchal School in Beirut before returning to Cairo in 1931. Episcopate He was appointed Eparch on March 13, 1943 and consecrated Eparch of St. John of Acre, Haifa, Nazareth and All Galilee, in Cairo on June 13, 1943, by Patriarch Cyril X. Magabhab, assisted by the Archbishops Dionysus Kafori, titular Bishop of Tarsus Dei Greco Melkiti, and Pierre Medawar, titular Bishop of Pelusium Dei Greco Melkiti, Patriarchal Auxiliaries. On November 18, 1964, Hakim became Archiparch. He was elected Patriarch by the Holy Synod at Ain Traz on November 22, 1967 and his election was confirmed on November 26 of the same year. As a priest, he distinguished himself by his running of the Patriarchal College in Cairo and by the launching and publication of the Review Laline. Later, as an archbishop, he built schools, a junior seminary, an orphanage, a home for the elderly and several churches. He took particular care for the clergy and for the religious and secular orders and he brought in several groups of Europeans come to integrate themselves into the church. As archbishop he spearheaded efforts to provide relief for Palestinians during the 1948 exodus. Under his guidance as patriarch, a minor seminary was established at Damascus and later a major seminary for the formation of priests was opened at Rabuah in Lebanon. He later funded numerous scholarships for needy seminarians during the Lebanese Civil War. He also oversaw the growth of the Melkite Church in North and South America as many of the faithful emigrated to the West. Maximos condemned the violence that pitted Muslim against Christian in Lebanon, where Greek Catholics constitute 4% of the population. In 1982, he negotiated with Druze leader Walid Jumblet to safeguard ancient Christian villages in the Shouf Valley. He enjoyed warmer ties with the Syrian Ba'ath regime than the Nasrallah Boutros sphere, patriarch of the more powerful Maronite Catholic community. Even so, community politics would prove dangerous for him at times. In 1990, he was targeted by would-be assassins as he traveled to the predominantly Christian city of Zal, located in the predominantly Shi. I -T -E -B -E -Q. A valley, following an old tradition of the more than 900-year-old Order of Knighthood, founded in Jerusalem to take care of lepers in the Hospital Street Lazare, he was the spiritual protector of the International Ecumenical Military and Hospitaller Order of Saint Lazarus of Jerusalem, as is his successor. Patriarch Maximos resigned on November 22, 2000, due to failing health, and was succeeded by Patriarch Gregory III Laham. He died on June 29, 2001, in Beirut. Topic: 1948 Nakba controversy. Topic: In the aftermath of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Hakim negotiated with Yehoshua Josh Palman, then leader of the Arab Section in the Israeli Foreign Ministry, for the return of Galilee Christian Arabs, then refugees in Lebanon, in exchange for Hakim's future goodwill towards the Jewish state. In the end, several thousand including several hundred from Ilaban Galilee Christians were allowed to return in the summer of 1949. In the 1950s, while he was Archbishop of Galilee, the future Patriarch was involved in the fate of the Palestinians of the two depopulated Christian villages of Kafr Bir. I'm an Ikri. He alerted the Vatican and other church authorities about the expulsion of the villagers, and lobbied for their return. 
A number of sources have quoted Maximos V as having said, "...the Arab League had issued orders exhorting the people to seek a temporary refuge in neighboring countries." For example, Israel's Abba Eben told the UN. Special Political Committee in 1957 that Hakim had said, the refugees had been confident that their absence from Palestine would not last long, that they would return within a few days or within a week or two, their leaders had promised them that the Arab armies would crush the Zionist gangs very quickly and that there would be no need for panic or fear of a long exile. Joseph Schechtman, in his 1949 publication book The Arab Refugee Problem, quotes Hakim's comment to Carl Beer, the then Executive Secretary of the American Christian Palestine Committee. Schechtman says of Hakim and his views, The role played by the British authorities in the Arab mass flight is also stressed by Monsignor George Hakim, Archbishop of the Greek Catholic Church a Uniate Church which is in fellowship with the Vatican and counts 20,864 adherents in Palestine. An Arab himself and a former supporter of the Mufti, Archbishop told Bayer that an important element in precipitating the flight, particularly in the Haifa area where Monsignor lives, was the fact that the British informed the Arabs that they would not protect them. Since most of the Arab leaders had already fled, the people were thrown into a panic so they fled by sea to Lebanon. They fled in spite of the fact that the Jewish authorities guaranteed their safety and rights as citizens of Israel." Erskine Childers investigated the claims made about Hakim, and in The Spectator of May 12, 1961, published a letter from Hakim addressing them, There is nothing in this statement to justify the construction which many propagandists had put on it, namely, that it established the allegation widely disseminated by partisan sources that the Arab leaders had urged the Arab inhabitants of Palestine to flee. As far as I can recollect, the aforesaid statement was intended to voice the strong feeling of resentment and revulsion felt by the refugees. They were convinced by what they had heard and read that the defeat of the Jewish armed forces, the re-establishment of peace and order throughout the country, and the institution of Arab rule, would be achieved within a short time. Instead of such achievements the Arab states had twice agreed to a truce, and the Arab armies were inactive. Hence the strong feeling of disappointment and frustration among the file and rank of refugees. At no time did I state that the flight of the refugees was due to the orders, explicit or implicit, of their leaders, military or political, to leave the country and seek shelter in the adjacent Arab territories. On the contrary, no such orders were ever made by the military commanders, or by the higher Arab committee, or indeed, by the Arab League or Arab states. I have not the least doubt that any such allegations are sheer concoctions and falsifications. As soon as hostilities began between Israel and the Arab states, it became the settled policy of the government to drive away the Arabs. Works A prolific writer, Maximos is best remembered for his Arabic work al Rabida and French works Message de Galilearinc and Pages de Evangile Luz en Galilee. Distinctions Founder and first Grand Master of the Patriarchal Order of the Holy Cross of Jerusalem See also Melkite Greek Catholic Patriarchate of Antioch and all the East Melkite Greek Catholic Church Maximos I. V. Saig, late Patriarch Joseph Raya, late Archbishop Elias Chakor, current Archbishop of Galilee Gregory III Laham, current Patriarch Kafr Burham Ikri Blaming the Victims, Spurious Scholarship and the Palestinian Question Broadcasts by Christopher Hitchens References Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Biography of Maximos V. Hakim by gcatholic.org. Biography of Maximos V. Hakim by melkite.org. 
Statement to the Special Political Committee of the United Nations General Assembly by Ambassador Eben, the 18th of November 1955. Note: Maximos V. Hakim is referred to as George Hakim. Statement to the Special Political Committee of the United Nations General Assembly by Israeli Ambassador Eben, the 17th of November 1958, on the official Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs website. Note: Maximos V. Hakim is referred to as George Hakini.